Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm going to give you guys access to another tool that I've used quite a bit um, as I was learning Mach 3. I'm getting more and more questions, whether it be from Mach 3 or Mach 4, dealing with you know interpreting different G code parameters. Um, again, getting involved in Mach and getting involved in CNC in general, you're going to find that a lot of times you'll find bits and pieces of certain software that you'll consistently use, whereas other pieces you may want to get involved with, but it's not absolutely required. That being said, you should always try to expand your window of opportunity, so to speak, of making you more efficient at whatever project you're working on. So. Uh, what I decided to do is give you guys the same tool that I've used for a while. Um, basically, what we've got here is a Mach 3 G code PDF, and we have the Mach 4 G code PDF, which again, that's their latest release from Artsoft. Um, if you scroll down here, you can see here all of these um, explanations, I should say, titles of G code that's available, you can click on. So if you do have a question, you can click on it. It'll bring you right down and give you more or less a breakdown of what's going on with whatever parameter you click on. Um, more of you guys that are getting involved in CNC, and I'm talking about the guys who haven't even gotten their machine yet, but are really del looking into delving into micromanufacturing, this is an area that you guys definitely want to try to learn prior to getting your hardware. I've said it before and I'll say it again, 98% of my clients never, ever, ever have a problem assembling the physical side, mechanical structure of the machine. They have problems digesting all the information required to run the machine through the software. Because again, you're not just learning um, motion control software, which will be Mach 3, UC CNC, Mach 4, whatever you choose, Linux CNC. You also have to learn your CAD CAM. So keep that in mind. We'll always try to delve your time, at least this is my outlook, is to delve my time into the areas that are going to take uh, the most time for me to become acclimated to. So learning anything with software is always going to take more time, especially as um, you're becoming familiar with G-Code. It, it seems overwhelming. I mean, if you look at this list here, this is just part of them. You can see exactly what's going on here. But I promise you, if you, if you allocate a half hour to an hour a night and just peruse through this, if you have a machine up and running, another quick method that I like to do is I'll go over, I'll find a topic that I've been interested in and want to learn more about, and I'll click on it, and therefore I'll print it out. If I print out just that section, it's right near the machine, it makes the learning curve go that much faster. It's, these are techniques you guys can use. I know they work, and again, it's hands-on because the machine is right there, you're right there, and everything is right there hands-on, and you can go through and see exactly what each effect takes place. So again, I know this is going to help many of you. I know many of you have been uh, messaging me this for a while. I just I wanted to get time around to do it right now. We're in the middle of peak season, which is it's getting crazy. I am trying to put some stuff together for Black Friday for you guys. I'm going to see what I can come up with. Um, but once again, I know that this is going to help many of you. And for my new guys, especially it's, I mean, there's always something in here for us to learn. I don't care how well versed you are, but for my new guys, this is imperative. So again, I hope it's been helpful. I will put the link um, to this site that you can come on and check this out. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss with you guys again is I want to say thank you to all of you for your patience. Again, I'm in the middle. I cannot stress this enough of being season and peak season is very difficult when you're a one-man show so again thank you all I love you guys your support has been wonderful um, to, especially to all my subscribers thank you so much um, I am going to be trying to do more and more videos as time goes on I'm trying to do one a week if I can get get with it right now with the season the way it is it's just crazy um, but I will be trying to do more, and I'll be trying to provide more tools. I do have a, a couple new products that are coming out I'm real excited about. I know it's going to help many of you. Um, but again, if you guys need anything, I will put my email below. And my personal email is storm2313 at gmail.com. And you can also contact me through my eDealers Direct Store on eBay. Um, both of those links will be down below. So if you need to get in touch with me, of course, you can. And when, like I said, I hope this helps uh, most of you because I believe me, I, I know what it's like when you're trying to digest all this information. Um, and even now when I'm trying to learn newer things, it gets kind of crazy. I mean, it's easy to become overwhelmed. Especially, you know, the best way to do this is just eat one bite of that elephant at a time. And I know you guys will get, get to where you want to go. So thank you all again. Take care.